Okay, so here you see an image that is kind of reminiscent to the image that we just saw on the, on the keynote uh, slide, right? We have different, le different blocks, they're kind of symmetrical, even though a few of them are not. Basically, all you need to know is that the blocks that are colored are audible. The blocks that are grayed out are not, we, we can't hear them. Here we go. <laughs> starts at A and ends at B, it doesn't necessarily have to be this way. If you look at music um, that is made of its, of, of its own elements, we can forget the timeline. We can create music that doesn't correspond to a specific timeline or correspond to a different timeline every time it is played. So this is basically challenging the, one of the major, most basic uh, concepts of music. So now if you're going to hear your, I don't know, Avril Lavigne song or Lady Gaga song, it's not going to be different. It doesn't go, it's not going to go from beginning to 3.30 can do something else on the, in, in the way, using those blocks and the combination of layers. What we didn't hear now, though, is those two effects joined together, because we heard this arrangement through the stereo, the standard stereo speaker. Imagine that I'm taking those layers in addition to the blocks and distributing them in space. So then we get these two concepts together. Here are those music elements we saw, but they're not really in any order. I mean, they look very symmetrical and nice, but they're just lay, you know, laying there, just loose, waiting for something to happen. How about if these elements emerge spontaneously to create that combination, or any different combination? <coughs> so, now we're really getting to the bottom of music that is, that is being created of its own elements, instead of me sitting there and deciding, this is going to play now, this is going to play later, this is going to play with this guy, this is going to make it loud, and this is going to be the breakdown. Elements that are kind of organizing themselves on their own. And this can also work in a larger scale. So, this little chunk of music is only a part of a full composition that is made of different blocks that arrange themselves. And then you got, you know, the, the, the red one into the green one, it can be different materials, back into the red one, it is the same material with different arrangements. 
and the possibilities are endless. Let's think, how is this spontaneous composition going to be created? If I don't want to uh, create a script, I want it to, create, to, to be created on its own, how is it going to be created? How about um, sensing the action in the room? Sensing the temperature, the level of noise, um, the, uh, the, the motion in the room, how happening the room is, just sensing all of these uh, properties of the room and scoring the room as the action happens. So that takes what you said really before to a whole new level. So now if you're standing, if, you, if you're standing, if, I'm sorry, if you're sitting down right now, like this, the music may remain mellow. But as you start walking around and you know, meeting with friends and having a drink and all that, the music picks up with you. And that's a complete, spontaneous composition where the composer and the producer only determines what the elements are, not more than that. Now there is something that I have to say though about, about this. If you look, if you think about this um, statistically, if I'm creating, I don't know, 30 layers, just think how many combinations of layers I can get. It's, it's, it's huge. I can get so much music out of it. But it's very important to know. My, my, my clients, when they hire me, they hire me first and foremost because they like my music, the music that I write for them makes them emotional, it makes them feel, it makes them uh, uh, you know, feel the scene that they, that they, that they, uh, that they shot more. It, it touches them, it communicates with them. And the elements that makes music this way are very elusive. That's why you can't learn to be a good composer or a bad composer, or even a good trumpet or a better player. I mean, it has something that you got or you don't have. And when we're creating music like this, it is uh, heavily conceptual, it's very dangerous because music that is um, kind of computerized and automated loses its flow, loses the development, and it just simply becomes bad music. So when we're talking about this combination, when we're talking about statistics, 90% of the combinations are eliminated. They don't work. Or they work well, but they don't work well after what I heard before, or before what I'm going to hear after. To, to maintain the development of the music and the flow of music uh, is a task that is much bigger than coming up with these concepts and, and engineering this, this kind of system. And this is the, 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 the one thing that is not written in rules. So basically the bottom line is that music that is written the old fashioned way from A to B, one mix, one layer so to speak, still has the same properties as music that is being kind of dissected like this. Eventually, you know, writing a beautiful melody, writing beautiful music that makes sense, that's the key to everything. Okay, so if you want to hear more and listen to some music, you can go to www.sentientmfm.com, which is my main site, and write it down. You can hear a lot of music there, you can read, uh, you can uh, you know, stay tuned with, uh, with news and stuff that's going on, um, all kinds of good things. If you want to join my mailing list, go to the contact section there and shoot me a, a mail. Even if you don't want to join my mailing list, just you know, tell me something. Tell me you enjoyed it, tell me it was boring, tell me you want to go home. <laughs> you can also go to www.sonicbrandexperience.com, which is a website that is dedicated to these concepts that I talked about today. There's no music there, but there's more about the concept, there's press about uh, the, uh, you know, what I'm doing and, and, and all that. You can check it out too. Do follow me on Twitter, Crambleman, that's me. <laughs> and uh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm, I'm tweeting about you know, things that I do, um, things that I'm excited about. And also I give a shout out about, you know, some cool designs, commercial spots, you know, things that I'm, the video clips that I see and I want to share. And then, only for you guys there's a bonus, because you did attend uh, this, uh, this lecture and you did hear it for an hour, full hour. If you go to clients.sentiatmfm.com, the user is art setter, and the password is bonus. There are three bonus tracks there uh, that you can download, uh, hear them, love them, uh, Share them, do whatever you want to do. All right. Thank you very much, guys.